Hello and welcome to my Lightboard session. In this lesson, I am going to talk about the three main cloud deployment models, namely the public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. So let's talk about what each of this really means, right? Now, when AWS launched its major services in 2006, that is S3 and EC2, and later added a lot of useful services in 2008, uh, that is VPCs, the load balancers, the auto scaling feature, it took the world by storm. And that is when uh, you know, companies across the world, companies of all sizes and shapes, uh, started realizing the power of cloud, and they started and you know uh, building their infrastructures on cloud. And all you needed from there on was just an idea to get started with anything. You could start with an idea, build your application, and just go live, you know, globally, and serve your global customers within hours and that was the power of cloud that it you know that accelerated the growth of uh, the startup world in general starting with 2008 now when we talk about clouds like aws and later on uh, azure and gcp were launched in 2009 and 2008 uh, these are some of the examples of the public cloud uh, what is a public cloud? Public cloud is something that you know uh, access that is accessible to everyone and anyone, and all you need is to create an account today uh, and sign up, and uh, just you know with your probably your credit card, and uh, then you get started building your infrastructure and deploying your applications right away. And those are the examples of public cloud. It's a shared infrastructure uh, which is available for everyone across the globe and uh, the access to that is can also be you know you can also make your some of the infrastructure as private and inaccessible from outside world but you can still access it through a public internet and th that is an example of a public cloud infrastructure and everything that you know about or heard of let's say aws uh, azure uh, gcp even smaller cloud platforms like DigitalOcean fall under this category of public cloud. Now, what is a private cloud? Private cloud is something which is similar, which gives you, I mean, uh, which gives you a lot of these features, but this is something you build in-house or in the data center that you control and this can be completely private you can expose it outside that's also a possibility uh, but it can completely be private and then inside that you build your infrastructure and deploy it you know and uh, why do you call it as a cloud then is because you get a self serviceability uh, automation uh, self-provisioning capacity you know um, dynamic capacity in certain cases so all of these features that uh, that uh, that these a lot of cloud providers give you are available but inside your own perimeter inside your own data center uh, that is a requirement for a lot of organizations and that then uh, that those are the cases when they choose the public cloud uh, uh, you know deploying a private cloud or some of the organizations they all have already been running their own data centers it is much cheaper for them uh, and more efficient and faster for them to manage and build everything in-house in which case private cloud is a great option uh, tools like openstack help you build your own public sorry private cloud platform uh, there are many tools available now in fact some of the public clouds are making their serve offerings available and to be able to set up as the private cloud in-house as well now then what is this hybrid cloud so a lot of organizations who have their own data centers and who have been running 
their own cloud uh, in-house that is a private cloud uh, still need some capacity in certain cases they might need exit capacity for some experimental purposes or they might have to host their infrastructure globally some of their infrastructure may let's say continue contain delivery network cdn uh, needs to be hosted globally as well so instead of building their own data centers globally they avail the public cloud platform for only for specific uses or they use the public cloud just for bursting so they have their own infrastructure locally uh, their own data in-house infrastructure which is private cloud and they set up the public cloud infrastructure as well in, in a lot of cases they use a virtual private link here uh, to connect to the public cloud and make it seamless for the internal users uh, in certain cases, they can also avail a dedicated line from their data center to the public cloud platform as well and make it completely private. Then they can also secure it and say that, hey, we don't want this to be accessible from outside at all. Uh, we want to secure it and the only access is from inside our infrastructure. So if you see a deployment where you have the private cloud and then there is also a public cloud in play in use or there could be multiple public clouds which are being used as well uh, this is a hybrid cloud model so as i just mentioned we just talked about the three types of clouds based on the deployment model which is the public cloud private cloud and the hybrid one